What's going on everyone? Joe back with Grill Joe's Barbecue and today we have a little different video. I'm not cooking anything. I actually have the new Meat Stick 4X that I'm going to unbox. We'll go over the features, what's different on this one compared to the last one. And if you've watched my channel all, you know I love my Meat Stick. I use it in a lot of cooks. And since I use it so often and I am an affiliate, they went ahead and sent me their new one to test out. So that's what we're going to get into today. I have a brisket cook coming up. That'll be the first thing I use this on, so make sure you watch out for that as well. But before we get into this, I think I'm gonna have to make myself a little iced coffee. I got my wife's Post Malone glass here. I just finished up a batch of cold brew coffee. Get that in there. And then I use just a little bit sugar-free cream. Ah. All right, let's get into this meat stick. All right, guys, getting into it. Real clean package it comes in. It also came with this sticker. Add that to my sticker fridge. On the box, it shows you everything, pretty much all the information about this stick. Let's get it open. A little thank you card for ordering from them. Thank you guys for sending it. A little QR code to scan to get the app. Technical mumbo jumbo. And there you have it. it. Looks very similar to the last meat stick I had. Uh, the fancy new 4X logo though looks nice. Like the previous meat stick, you have the battery compartment on the back. It takes two AA batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and get those installed now so I can start charging. I got my two AA batteries, just following the picture. I'm going to slide those in. Green light shows we're on. And you want to charge your meat stick for at least a good couple hours. I think when you first log into the app, it tells you you want to charge it for two to four hours before you use it. So what I really like about using my meat stick is this here that sticks out, tells you the ambient temperature of your smoker. And when you insert this all the way, this has three internal sensors to give you the temperature throughout. So it's not just reading at the start of your brisket or where it ever ends up, it's reading the entire stick. This Meat Stick 4X with this base. So this Meat Stick 4X can go up to 650 feet with just this base. The previous meat sticks I know did not have that kind of range without the Wi-Fi uh, box or the extender version of this holder. So that's really nice. This this one has a very good range without having to get the Wi-Fi base. I do really enjoy my Wi-Fi base because you can check it anywhere. I'll go to the gym while I'm working out and see my temperature of my briskets and know when I need to get home to, to get to wrapping them. So, but this is really nice for just being home and not having to do that. Uh, I assume this backside is going to be magnetic like the last one was. Yep, it is magnetic. So you can stick this on your smoker and it'll just be right there by the meat stick. And then you have your 650 feet. You want to remove this sticker before cooking. Looks like on this one, they actually have a perforated edge here. Oh yeah, real simple. That's much nicer. The last meat stick I had, that stick was that sticker was a lot harder to get off. And it was uh, a little bit of a pain. So some features of the 4X here, this will last 70 hours on a single charge. So I don't know what kind of cook you're doing, but it sure is not, sure as heck isn't lasting 70 hours. So this thing will last you multiple cooks, even if you forgot to charge it. But I would always suggest washing this, putting it back in the box, back in the 
container and letting it charge between cooks just so you know you're perfect ready to go. Like the previous meat sticks, this one has the app that goes with it. I really enjoy this app. Whenever you get your new one, you're gonna add the stick and then place the stick in the charger, hit the button and then hit next. And it's gonna search for that meat stick. So I have to go through and set up this new meat stick since this is not officially out yet. I have to go through some certain, some special features to get it on my app. But once you get your meat stick, and meat stick connected to your app, it's really nice. You can go into the app and look at all your past cooks. I've done a lot of pork butt, steak, uh, ham, whole turkey, everything it's in here. When you click on it, it can show you how your cooking went, how long you cooked it for, and uh, it's just super handy to have. I really enjoy it. The max temperature this pro can get to is 212 degrees. There's nothing you're gonna cook. Oh, I say that, I, I don't ever take anything above around 203 degrees, so I'm not sure why you'd ever need to go higher than that, but you can. Uh, the outside ceramic shell, this can go up to 572 degrees. So you can even, uh, you can even fry chicken with the meat stick in there. This will not, that will not hurt it. Now, uh, like my char griller can get up to 700 degrees when searing. I definitely would not want to leave this in while I sear on that char griller. But if you're just using it on a regular cook, I don't think you'll ever have a problem getting that too high. Another nice feature about this meat stick is that it's actually dishwasher safe. You can put this in your dishwasher if you need to, but I've always just haven't had a problem taking it out of the cook, washing it right away, and it's good to go. Can't wait to use this. It's going to be awesome trying it out on this next cook. And I'm not going to use it till tomorrow, but that's why I plugged it in today to get that full charge. So I know it's going to be ready tomorrow. You always want to plan ahead. I know the very first time I got one of these, I was planning on cooking that night. I pulled it out of the box put it in the charger, try to go, and it, I had to wait two hours till I could cook my steak. So make sure you think ahead, get that out of the box, get it charging before you first cook. So there you have it, the Meat Stick 4X. So if you wanna see how this does on the next cook, keep an eye out for that brisket video, and it will be coming out soon.